Welcome to the beginning of turn eight. We're going to roll for the spy in this turn, at the beginning of this turn. So here we go. Remember, highest uh, roll on a six-sided die wins, and we re-roll ties. So, Germany, three. Finland, six. Oh, Finland. Russia, five. United States, three. Japan, two. Italy, four. UK, three. Canada, six. Oh, South Africa, six. Aussies, three. Okay, so we get rid of everybody but the Finns, the Canadians, and the South Africans. And we will see what um, what we do with the reroll. Okay, Finland, three. Not looking good for Finland. Canada, four. South Africa, three. So Canada, once again, is going to be the spy. Okay, this is Germany and Minor Axis in Finland, turn 8. Uh, Germany has uh, 47 IPCs to spend. They're going to buy two um, subs for 12, a fighter for 10, attack bomber for 11, and then the remaining 14 will be two infantry and two artillery. The Finns are buying two mechanized infantry with their eight IPCs. Uh, here are the attacks that are being declared. Uh, sea Zone 112, the Canadian uh, destroyer, is being attacked with one submarine from 113 and the fighter from the um, uh, aircraft carrier, the Vesser. Um, Normandy Bordeaux is once again being attacked with four infantry from southern France, a tank from Holland, Belgium, and two strategic bombers from western Germany. Um, Hungary, Slovakia will be attacked with the mechanized infantry and the tank from Germany. Um, Eastern Poland is being attacked with the mechanized infantry and the tank from Belarus. Smolensk is being attacked with the two tanks and two mechanized infantry from Archangel uh, and the uh, artillery from Smolensk, uh, along with two Finnish um, um, mechanized infantry from uh, Novgorod. Uh, the Finns are also going to blitz through Nenetsia and the Urals uh, and pick up a little bit of uh, land that way with this one tank here. Uh, so those are all of the um, those are all of the combat moves for the Germans and the Finns. Remember the minor axis literally have no pieces on the board. So let's roll some dice. This is the attack on Sea Zone 112. The Germans are coming in with a fighter from the aircraft carrier Vaser and submarine U-74. The Canadians are defending with the HMCS Niagara destroyer. Uh, remember that the Germans do have super submarines, so they attack at three, so it's two threes versus a two. And that's a hit. Canadian defense. That's a miss. So the Germans clear the sea zone with no casualties. Okay, once again we have another attack on Normandy Bordeaux happening. Um, two strategic bombers, one tank, four infantry. Two hits. So that would be the two British infantry killed. So that's three of the four infantry. We'll go for one more poke. Three hits. Wow. That was extraordinarily uh, fortuitous.
one hit. Well, we're definitely going to keep going now. I think. Two hits. And a hit. I think we'll lose a bomber and we'll take the territory. That's what we'll do. So that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the battle. In the battle for Slovakia, Hungary. Uh, tank and mech. The mech's at two because it's paired with the tank. That's a German tech. Three and a two. One hit. So this guy's dead. Three and a two in response. One hit. So this guy's dead. So three versus a three. Total 50-50 shot here. Miss. Uh-oh. Miss. Hit. Miss. Oh, so Germany takes the territory. Okay, Eastern Poland. Tank mechanized infantry. Both misses. Both misses. Both misses. One hit. And we'll keep going. Hit. Hit. So Germany loses the battle but takes out an infantry doing it. It's the attack on Smolensk, two tanks, two uh, mechanized infantry with the tanks, so that's twos, and then one mechanized infantry supported by an artillery, two more twos, and then an unsupported mechanized infantry for a one. One hit, that's all we needed. Russian response, miss. So Germany takes the territory with no casualties. German non-combat moves. The strategic bomber in the Normandy-Bordeaux attack is going to fly back to western Germany. Uh, the fighter in the C-Zone 112 attack is going to land back on the carrier in C-Zone 113. Two infantry from western Germany are going to get onto a transport ship and they're going to go to C-Zone 114 and offload in Poland as a blocker. Um, what else? Oh, okay. Uh, the Finnish tank is going to go from Finland to Novgorod. One of the infantry from Novgorod is going to go to Baltic States. One of the infantry is going to go to Belarus. The anti-aircraft artillery is going to go back to Novgorod. Uh, and I think that's actually all of the non-combat movement. So we'll stop there and be back in a sec. Placement of new units. Our new submarines are going to go into C-Zone 113. Our new uh, tactical bomber is going to go onto the aircraft carrier. Our new fighter is going to go into Western Germany. Our two new artillery are going to go into Germany. Our two new infantry are going to go into Southern France. And then obviously the Finns are going to place their two mechanized infantry in Finland because that's the only place they can place. Uh, okay, Germany is going to take three IPCs from the Americans for uh, Normandy Bordeaux. They're going to take three IPCs from the Germans, or from the Russians, sorry, for Slovakia, Hungary. Uh, and they are going to take one IPC from the Russians for Smolensk. The Finns will get control of Nenetsia, although it's not worth anything, but they will take one IPC from the Germans for the Urals. So, or from the Russians, sorry. Uh, so Russia's going to lose one, two, they're going to lose five in total. So Russia goes down from 39 to 34, 
and that's at the expense of one Finnish IPC and four uh, German IPCs and then the Germans go up Four. Yeah, okay, four. 33 to 37. And then they go up. Is it two? Yes, it's two uh, for the American um, holding. So they go from 40 to 38. Okay. Uh, so Germany ends up at 39. Finland ends up at eight. So that's the money that they're going to collect 39 IPCs for the Germans. There's no convoys anywhere. And then eight IPCs for the Finns. Okay. Um, so, um, disposition of forces. Let's have a look around the board. Uh, naval forces for the Germans. Uh, sub in Sea Zone 112. Sea Zone 113 has two transports, two subs, a destroyer, two cruisers, and a fully loaded carrier with a fighter and attack bomber. Sea Zone 114 has a transport. Uh, Normandy Bordeaux has a tank. Uh, Western Germany has a strategic bomber, a fighter, uh, two anti aircraft, and two artillery. Southern France has two infantry. Uh, Germany has uh, two artillery and one anti aircraft. Poland has two infantry. Hungary Slovakia has a tank. Baltic states have an infantry. Belarus has an infantry. Novgorod has an infantry. Smolensk has two mechanized infantry, two tanks, and one artillery. Um, and that's all the German units on the board. As far as Finnish units on the board, um, there are two mechanized infantry in Finland, one tank in Novgorod, two mechanized infantry in Smolensk, and a tank in the Urals. Um, Russia's up next. We'll see what they do.